Okay, let's do the branded photo. Same thing now. We can do the product, put in a cute little plant to be like, oh yes, rainforest. And then, you know, you can include something like the business card. Now you can do it with the white background still. You could also start to incorporate textural elements, like let's move it down here to my little wooden, my wooden table. Um, something like adding the wood gives it a really nice feeling of, of this being real and not in a shop anymore. Now it's got more personality. Um, another thing people like to use a lot these days is marble. Personally, I'm not a huge marble fan. I think it's over, overdone and not appropriate for every single brand. But again, it adds this texture. You're just looking for things that, that give the photo a feeling. Because a brand is all about feeling. A brand is trying to make people understand without having to say what you do, right? That's why you put this plant in and not this one. This plant says, ooh, this has ingredients from the desert. And this says, ooh, it has ingredients from the jungle. But you didn't have to say it. Just because the plant you put in there, it speaks for itself. Um, similarly, if you want to have your name of your company, Amazonia, throw in a business card instead of taking a photo and then putting um, font. Like instead of writing the word Amazonia on your photo, so much better to have a business card in there. And I think it's better because it makes it, it's like product placement. I'm marketing without having to say it. I didn't take a photo and put words on it, I just took a photo and hey, you already know, okay? Um, and you can start to get creative with, with this stuff, like have one of them stand up. Now this is very messy, and the problem a lot of times is that people with their product photography are, are getting really um, anal about it. They're like, everything is perfect, you know? And they have it all like lined up and they'll spend hours. And that's great, you know, you get that shot, but there is also a beauty to just playing around and being like, I'm just gonna make it kinda messy. Like, don't be afraid to experiment with this kind of stuff. We don't see it as often, but that's because people are scared. People are afraid to try stuff, okay? Or just try different um, arrangements, like a few different cards. Amazonia, 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 why not? Like, there's no rules. You could also tip it down on its side and start to move it around. Um, you can take the business cards, let's bring them down here. This is a very, the branding and the lifestyle are very experimental, okay? It's all about just being artistic with your photos. And then you have something like that. You can't even see the actual product itself, just the top of it, but that's the point. These branded photos, they can work together. You could take this photo here from the side, and then you could also take this one from the top. And the point is that you then just have these pretty photos. They, 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 they can put on Instagram. You can use them as a banner image. Like, if you have that, you don't have to see the product. It's just saying like, hey, this is something that Amazonia put out, and then maybe you have like text down here, or you use this as a, a banner image, okay? So it's just giving you content. The purpose of the shop white photo is to show off the product. That's why this does not work as an angle, and why you have to have this. The purpose of branded marketing photos is that you're just giving people feelings. Like, oh, whenever I see the Amazonia photos, they always have wood and plants, and it just feels so earthy. It feels so fresh. Like, you're looking for those feeling words. And that's why you bring in textures. You bring in plants. You bring in business cards. You bring in designs and different um, backdrops. And, and maybe you take this outside and photograph it on moss or a jungle leaf or put some fruit next to it. It paints the picture and the feeling. And then the social, the lifestyle, is showing it actually being used in real life because nobody does this. Nobody has a bathroom that's set up like, good morning, Shawnee, your skincare is ready. Like, no, in my bathroom, my skincare products are lined up just in a row like this. And I have them in chronological order, like apply this one first and then I go down the line, okay? So for my lifestyle photo, I would take all of these into my bathroom, set them up, and then photograph them. 
Um, now, we're going to stay in here. I'm not actually going to take it in my bathroom right now. But the idea would be, for the lifestyle photo, I'm not staging it. I'm, I'm saying this is a real life moment. This is Shamini's bathroom. Um, and my bathroom is actually not a good place to take photos because it's pretty dark. Um, but I have them in the window. And so I would, to do the best I could, I would put them in the window, maybe clean the window, attention to detail because the windows get dirty. Um, and then maybe I'd put a little plant in there, right? So there's kind of a difference. When you're, mark when you're doing branded photos for marketing, you're often setting up a little stage from scratch. Like grab the business cards, grab the plant, put them out, voila, I've created a photography set. With the lifestyle, you're not creating a set. It's already there, but you might add something in. That's the example of my bathroom. I'm not going to bring all of my my product equipment, my products, into the kitchen and set them up there. Like, why would I do that? They're already in my bathroom. That's the lifestyle, that's the real thing. And then maybe, if I want it to look a little prettier, I'll add a plant. Um, if I were to carry everything into the kitchen, that is no longer a lifestyle, because nobody keeps their facial products in the kitchen. It's now a branded marketing photo where you're gonna be staging it. And that's the difference. When people start putting photos online and saying this is lifestyle, but it's actually branded, um, you can tell it's stinky and fake. Way better to say, hey, look at these beautiful branded photos I took. They're branded. Versus showing those and saying that's my lifestyle. We know it's not. <laughs> okay? Um, now, on this same note, let's imagine that this is my bathroom and that I do just have a white counter with some, with them lined up, okay? So this is, this is my bathroom. That's not unbelievable. And I'm like, I want to get a photo, but I just want to look a little bit prettier. So I'm going to add that in. Now, if I were to go and put a card there, that's still fine, but now we're encroaching a little bit on the branded. Nothing wrong with it. Just be really clear on what you're doing. Um, and that's because I probably wouldn't have a business card in my bathroom. Okay. Now, same thing goes. Let's move on to the next thing. Interesting angles. Interesting angles. Now, the person who owns the brand is going to be concerned with the product. They want to show off the packaging. They want to show off the product itself, the texture of it, the color of it. Um, they want to see it being used in the way that it actually is used. Now the photographer is thinking, how do I take a pretty photo? Okay, I forgot to one. This kind of overlaps. Interesting angles, um, attention to detail. If you have products like this, there's a pattern. If it's off, the owner will notice. The photographer usually misses these things. Um, that needs to be lined up. Also, if you're photographing, so like you could have a beautiful photo of the bottle, but if the, the name is slightly out of focus, the owner of the company will notice. That's something the photographer might miss. The photographer could be like, wow, it looks so pretty, the light is so great, and the, and the owner is like, yeah, nice.